Hello, this is a quick tutorial showing you how to create unique starts and end times if you want your students to watch just part of a video that you have in one of your YouTube playlists. So right now I'm looking at a playlist that I've created about King Tut and if you notice that the final video here is a total of 47 minutes long. Uh, let's say for the sake of this tutorial that I want to show them just a very particular part of this uh, video. So there's a, about a five minute part in the 19 to 24 minute part of the video that talks about how Carter broke through and found the tomb of King Tut. So if I want to set that up in my playlist, I would uh, hover over, and I, I'm currently in the editing mode in my playlist here. So if I hover over the side here, it says more. If I click on that window shade and pull down here so I can see all the options, one of the options is to edit start and end times. So if I click on that, I'm going to go and I'm going to see the video here and I have a preview screen so I can go ahead and find exactly the point that I want to start at so um, I previously looked at this and right about the 19 minute mark is where Carter starts to um, get ready to go inside the tomb so I'm going to set it about 1856 so I'm going to scroll this over here and I want to get it to about 1850 or so 1850 three is fine there and then I only want them to watch about five minutes of it so I'm gonna come and I'm gonna bring that into about the 23 minute mark here and that's a good place to end okay so now the entire video is on the playlist but when my students go to the video they're just gonna see the five minutes that I would like them to watch instead of putting them on uh, the task of trying to find the exact five minutes. Now notice on the top here it does say the minimum tr uh, length that you can trim uh, is 15 seconds. So it has to be at least a 15 second clip that you are trimming to. I'm going to go to save and notice here now when it scrolls on the bottom it says that there's a, a little play symbol here and then it says that it's just going to show a four minute and 23 second section of that once it comes down to that part of the playlist. So if I go to that particular video, notice that it is going to come to the 1856 mark to start, and then it's going to watch the entire thing. Now, if you wanted your students to watch the entire video, um, they could click on watch the entire video, but this way it makes it a little bit easier if you want to zero in on one particular part.